With the recent outbreak of coronavirus, it might make you want to cancel that vacation to Asia or make you paranoid about opening that packet from AliExpress. But a quick review of the worst contagious diseases ever might just make you relax a little. Brilliant news! Number 1. Influenza Influenza is the original word for what we know as the flu, hence the name. Influenza. We all know the typical flu symptoms, which spread in the same way as a common cold. However, much like swine flu, bird flu, and now coronavirus's suspected snake flu, some influenza viruses can jump between species. Influenza rarely results in death in healthy adults, but nonetheless still claims up to half a million lives every year. <gasps> Number 2. Smallpox. According to studies, smallpox originated about 3,000 years ago in India or Egypt, before quickly becoming widespread. The variola virus, which causes smallpox, killed as many as a third of those it infected and left others scarred and blinded. However, since the 80s, the disease has been officially eradicated. All but a few samples. Number 3. The Plague. Also known as the Black Death, the bacterium carried by fleas is still in circulation today and was one of the worst pandemics in human history, famously wreaking havoc in 14th century Europe when it wiped out roughly a third of the population. It is best known as the bubonic plague, as it causes inflamed lymph nodes, or buboes, and inflicts the symptoms of a strong flu which, if left untreated, can end the victim in just 10 days. Number 4. Pneumonia The contraction of pneumonia is usually associated with going outside without your coat on. But this deadly lung infection is not caused from being cold, but is the result of a bacteria or fungal infection settling inside the lungs. Number 5. Malaria Despite being curable, malaria still takes over half a million lives every year. A parasite carried by some blood-sucking mosquitoes is the main propagator. The victim experiences flu-like symptoms and a fever before the reaction leads to organ failure, coma and finally death. Attempts to eradicate the disease in the US were unsuccessful, uh -oh. although the transmission has been greatly reduced. Number 6. Tuberculosis TB is a bacterium that one-third of the world's population, that's 2.6 billion people, currently carry. However, only 5-10% to of them become sick or infectious. The disease attacks the lungs and causes signature bloody coughs and weight loss, which is why historically it was called consumption. Number 7. Rabies now a very rare disease in the US with only two fatalities a year, it still causes over 10,000 yearly deaths in Africa and Asia. It is transmitted through the saliva of infected animals, most commonly dogs. The symptoms include a fear of water, violent movements and uncontrolled excitement, all due to the swelling of the brain. If untreated, the victim can die in just a week. <gasps> Number 8. HIV. First discovered just 40 years ago, a simian immunodeficiency virus jumped from apes to humans and formed the devastating virus. HIV destroys part of the immune system which makes the victim vulnerable to all sorts of common diseases, especially tuberculosis. There are currently 38 million people infected and developers are yet to find a cure. Number 9. Cholera. During the 19th century, there were six major pandemics of cholera, which spread from India and caused millions of fatalities worldwide. Cholera causes acute diarrhea, and if left untreated, can kill within hours. It is contracted from eating food or water contaminated by infected feces. Despite modern-day sanitary standards, there are still one to four million people infected with cholera every year. Number 10. Coronavirus 
Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses much like in flu enza. This new strain of pneumonia-like coronavirus has been traced back to a marketplace in Wuhan, China and is believed to have jumped to humans from a sick snake or bat. Despite China's attempts to quarantine the area, it has already spread to many countries including the US. There is no cure as of yet, but the CDC insists that most people should recover on their own. What do you think about the new coronavirus threat? Are any of us safe? Discuss below.